We have some big cryptocurrency news to talk about in the market today. So we're going to be talking about Binance. Have they potentially been stealing things in the crypto market? We'll be chatting about that. Is crypto leaving the USA? We'll also be talking about that. And then at the end of this video, we're also going to be talking about the crypto prices. So what are they doing now? Where can they go in the future? We'll be breaking it down in this video. So if that sounds good, hit the thumbs up button. As always, not financial advice. And let's get straight into this video. The first piece of news I actually want to bring you is check this out. One of the biggest influencers out there from a global perspective is actually Snoop Dogg. And uh, he is actually making a Web3 powered live stream platform. And I think this is pretty cool. So this is good for the crypto market. We want to see more of this. And it says here, American rapper and actor Snoop Dogg has been revealed as one of the co-founders of a Web3 powered live streaming app called Shilla, adding to yet another Web3 partnership for the well-known hip hop artist. So the app's basically going to be a live streaming platform with Web3 technology, eliminating a lot of the middlemen when it comes to content creation. And uh, that is pretty exciting. So people, you can potentially apply to be a live streamer on Shilla right now with uh, Snoop Dogg as a big co-founder. And I think this is good because it is going to spread that mass adoption for cryptocurrency. We've also had some big news on the Binance front. We got lots of news to talk about. But apparently Binance actually tried to hire Gary Gensler in 2018 to have closer ties with US regulators. And uh, this actually doesn't surprise me. So apparently, you know, Binance, big successful company, wanted to make inroads into the USA. They identified Gary Gensler as uh, someone who could potentially help them on that journey. And it says right here that uh, they actually had an interview. So Ella Zhang, the head of Binance's venture investing arm, and Harry Zhu, co-founder of Binance invested firm Koi Trading, met with Gensler in 2018. After Gensler declined the advisor position, Zhao wrote in the chat, I observed that while Gensler declined the advisorship, he was very generous in sharing licensing strategies. And uh, this is interesting. So I don't think there's any wrongdoing from Binance. And this is generally how the big companies work in the USA. So again, they hire people, experts from the industry, and uh, those experts can help them, you know, get to where they want to go in the country. But that is some interesting insight about Binance and Gary Gensler, nonetheless. And uh, on that front, in the USA in particular, uh, you know, Ripple, the Ripple CEO, Brad Garlinghouse has said, you know, the SEC lawsuit against Ripple that is basically going on forever. Uh, you know, what is it doing? It's actually driving the crypto industry out of the USA. And you guys know the USA, great country, lots of great people in the USA. But is Gary Gensler really screwing up the market for crypto? Is, it, is he screwing it up for the US economy? Because right now there is a lot of uncertainty with regulation in the USA. And experts are saying the enforcement done by the SEC is not healthy for crypto. It's not healthy for the industry. It's not healthy for investors in crypto. And uh, they want things to change. So if you guys want to see a change from the SEC, from Gary Gensler, in how he approaches cryptocurrency in his way to formalize it, regulate it, drop a comment down below because right now he isn't doing a good job. And particularly big business is actually moving out of uh, the USA. So they're going to other countries out there, UK, Japan, Singapore, Australia, Switzerland. And, uh, you know, because those countries have a bit of a process, it's more innovative, it's more collaborative. And, uh, you know, the USA is just basically fining companies, trying to sue them. And uh, is that really the best path forward for cryptocurrency? I don't think it is. And we want to see some things change right there. And we also have this massive story as well. So BNB chain hackathon winner accuses Binance of stealing AI powered NFTs ideas. So Chat Carso won first prize in the BNB chain hackathon for its AI powered NFT creation tool. And what's happened here is the, uh, you know, the leader of this project has basically said that uh, Binance Binance has stolen this idea. And Gigi Goma over on Twitter definitely isn't happy about this. So potentially, are there some similarities between Picasso and Chat Carso? And, uh, you know, potentially there could be a case here. So it's hard to know the exact truth. But we do know Binance does have an AI powered NFT project also has something very, very similar. And uh, Gigi Goma not happy with that. But what I will say in business, guys, is uh, you know there's a big difference between creating an idea and also executing ideas. So if you don't execute on an idea, 
It's uh, not worth anything. And the other thing is, you know, you have to also market your idea. So lots of people can come up with lots of great crypto projects or even business ideas. But, you know, one of the most challenging things out there, especially for crypto, and I let you guys know all this all the time, but there's like 10,000, 20,000 cryptos. See CoinGecko up the top, 12,300 projects. You have to really market them. And, uh, you know, Binance can market it, but can the, these other guys market it that well? I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, long-term profit and gains in crypto, it's going to come down to use case, utility, people actually adopting the crypto. But that's some interesting news coming out of the BUB chain. So a little bit unclear who's copied who or where that case lies, but very, very interesting story nonetheless. And guys, let's talk about the crypto prices today. So what are they doing in the market? How are we tracking? And I do have the multi-month journey behind me so a bit of a long-term journey right here but we have had a bit of a recovery in the last few months we actually did bottom out if you can see right here the Bitcoin price we got down to around 15,500 right here so this was the uh, the recent low for Bitcoin 15,500 that was back in November 2022 right here and uh, we were trading sideways for a good month or so right here you know cruising at around the 16k level we have had some bullish momentum right here in the crypto market you guys can see the increase in price from around the $16,000 level we got up to around the $23,000 level here we did recently hit a new a new high of around the $25,000 level. So we actually did exceed 25K. And uh, right now we have uh, bounced down to around 22,300. And uh, so where do I think the crypto market is going? What are some big catalysts to kind of look out for? So I am a believer, you know, the macro factors will play a role. So you guys know we talk about Gary Gensler, we talk about the SEC. We want to see some good regulation come out of this guy, particularly in the USA. We want to see USA get behind crypto and make it go to the moon. The other big things we need to watch out for as well is, uh, you know, the macro economy as well. So we sometimes talk about inflation, jobs, things like that. And once we get through that rough patch, that is potentially when the next leg up in the crypto market will occur. And that's going to be exciting to watch out for as well. But of course, you guys know there's also going to be very, very innovative projects that potentially can make millionaires regardless of uh, you know the crypto market as well. So some cryptos out there, you guys know it can do like 100Xs, 1000Xs in extreme rare cases, but it does happen in the crypto market. That is also another way to make money. And if we actually have a look at the crypto crypto bubbles today you know what cryptos are going up which cryptos are going down a bit of a mixed day i'd say it's slightly red on the market today maker is up uh, stx is up against so stx is looking good agix retracing but high quality ai crypto project right there and a lot of the other cryptos will actually be in the red today if we actually jump over to the coin gecko prices you can see slightly down on bitcoin uh, slightly down on our BNB and uh, you know crypto prices down slightly but again if you have a long-term mindset about crypto you know not 24 hours not a week not a month but years or potentially multiple years that is where I think some really nice long-term gains will kick in but we'll keep the updates flowing on uh, crypto Zeus here and if you guys enjoy it make sure to smash the thumbs up button and I want to give some shout outs to you guys over on Twitter so I'm always interested to hear what cryptos you think have the best chance of making you a millionaire put out the tweet so let's give three shout outs today in today's video so the first shout out goes to Lee Vincent and he says strike X right there and I know strike X building out a massive crypto wallet so very very exciting project right there thank you Lee Vincent for your response in the Twitter thread and we've also got James West right here he says Luna Classic and definitely Luna Classic has big potential you guys know there is a lot of big community behind Luna Classic and uh, we're gonna have some more updates on the channel for sure coming up for that crypto and we also have Papa Papadopoulos over on Twitter. Don't know how to pronounce the first name. There's Christos potentially. And he says Satoshi Island and uh, Brain Spikes best upcoming NFT project. And Satoshi Island, very interesting project. We've covered that. I like it. And uh, you guys know it's based in Vanuatu. So Vanuatu, 0% tax. If you've watched my crypto tax video, uh, that country is good. And so is Dubai as well. So lots of exciting countries out there. But Satoshi Island, definitely very, very exciting project right there. But guys, that's a big market update. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.